Well, hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of Emergency 5. We are in the Lütenscheid modification in the Brunstedt map and well look at that, it is the season to be jolly still. Even though we are now a couple days past Christmas, um, the map is still in festive attire. There is a Christmas market going on and of course that wouldn't be removed right away um it's i think it's at the main station here yeah uh, it looks about right and we have a second alarm uh, what do we have here single dwelling with a lot of trees around so let's get us some units second alarm command vehicle he's gonna be parking back here Rescue engine is gonna park here. They're gonna be hooking up to this hydrant right there. Ladder 3 1 is going here, and they're gonna be going at this fire from there. And then we need some police. I'm gonna get a little bit more than what I usually would get just for the sake of uh, getting a couple units out on patrol as well. And I know I could have uh, I could have just uh, called them out as actually if we're gonna do that we're gonna call a bunch of them as patrol. patrol cars out. Yeah, you can see that the fire here is spreading rather quickly. Um, we we don't have to worry anymore about um, ventilating that whole building because it vented itself. And the boss is here. Look at that. Which means that the engines should be relatively close at hand. There we are. Okay, we have everybody suiting up. All right. Boys and girls, let's get going here. So I want one attack line established right from the getty go right there that's what i want that's what i want and i want you to hook up a line there so we're gonna have two attack lines coming from this side and then as soon as that second engine makes its way here See, we got already some uh, water hitting the scene, which is wonderful. And we will have some water hitting the scene from this end here too, right away. And we also start the monitoring of our bottle. You can see the ladder truck is actually starting the actual attack right now. Um, one of the reasons that you don't really, or that I don't have a problem with them going at the trees first, then we can be fairly certain that there's nobody in the house. We just say for the sake of uh, for the sake of the gameplay that we got some more information already and uh, there's really nobody else there that is in danger at the moment so we're gonna get our second attack line here going now which means we're gonna have uh, 
quite a good coverage and also um, we're gonna get this here under control relatively quickly. I am going to control him a little bit manually because as you can see it tries to spread back here. Um, so we want to get this under control rather sooner than later because this can spread into another area. We have a multi. We have we have several apartment buildings actually down here. Um, yeah. And uh, well, needless to say, we really don't want those to light up. So we're doing well here. The house is almost extinguished once that house is indeed uh, confirmed extinguished. I'm assuming that the ladder will extend a little bit more and will start to fight the vegetation fire back here. Uh, meanwhile, we have a theft going on. Uh, we're gonna have one and two respond here. Let's see, he's going this way, so I'm thinking he's probably gonna go this far before he has to stop. Alright, we're doing well here. And I was correct in my assumption, as you can see here. He's moved the ladder now to a new position. Um, the two lines that came from here are taking care of the backyard, essentially. Actually, a really nice house. I wouldn't mind living on top of a hill, far away from everybody. And he was faster than my police units were. All right, so fire watch. Fire watch. You boys can all go home. You gentlemen can start patrolling. And then we're gonna see Firewatch. I'm just gonna send. I'm just going to send one engine. I wonder who they're gonna send. Better not be one of... Oh, wait a second. This is a different... Area. Well, yeah, but that's okay, actually. Because the Firewatch... Um, where is that dude? I'm thinking our units are up here now. Yes, they are. Perfect. Oh, we might be able to cut him off right there. So, Firewatch, yeah, it makes sense that we're going to send another engine here because those units are spent. Like, they probably exhausted the air. In real life, if they had a fire like this, they would have exhausted the air by now. Um, granted, they would wait till the Firewatch was on scene, but it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, so this feature that we have, where we can have the units just follow him. There we go. It would be nice if they could arrest him. And now you're getting mace in the face while you are trying to relax. Just like that. All right. Well, that's under control. Our engine is on scene. Oh, look at that. It's actually, it's the... Are we worried about... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we have two guys suit up. We 
might also need police, actually. Because they might want to... Uh, They might want to check this place out, whether or not it was... Uh no, whether or not it was... Arson! I guess we could send two more. Okay, so they want more firefighters in here. That's okay. At this point, I'm not even sure if I really need a CBA, but this was a relatively fresh fire, so just to make sure. We'll see what the situation is. So we got this gentleman here arrested gonna go into this unit and this unit is gonna go on patrol as soon as able. They don't want to go into their cars for whatever reason. Oh, <laughs> no, it's because they have to go back. They can't go on patrol with uh, some person in there. All right, we're done here. Excellent. All good. You guys can go on patrol too. I think we have quite a few police vehicles now that are actually going. Third alarm, arsonist, injured people. Oh, ho, ho. and I was just saying. And I was just talking about an arsonist. Well, there you go. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have said anything. I'm concerned about that dude that he's gonna send more, set more fires. Okay, so this is a relatively serious incident because we have several apartment buildings here as you can see they are all attached to one another we're gonna have the two letters start simultaneous attacks um our respiratory protection unit is gonna go here because they're gonna have this all under control. So we're gonna have one ladder um, rescue that person. The other ladder is gonna be starting on... Uh, where did he go? I do not trust you at all. I hope those boys are quick. Good news is this fire is just taking off here. Yeah. We must have not used a very good accelerant. They all can get dressed for success already. We're gonna establish one line here. As it were.
And with luck, that will be already enough. But I'm not gonna count on it. But we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have some water going on this here right away. We have this unit already to go into. Oh yeah, this is slowly taken off. Yeah, that is a minor concern of mine. Where do I have police units though? Go get them, Tiger. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have here. So we have the person already out of the building. Gonna establish the second line here. And you boys. Hook him up. Uh, where do we have another hydrant? Oh, this is quite a bit. And I guess she is not doing so well, which is okay. To be honest with you, we might be able to get this situated as is. I'm gonna have one firefighter do some start some first aid measures. I would like to know where the police is. My dude, I wanted you here. And we might get this under control here, right, Chicken Louie? I'm not taking any chances anymore. I'm just going to go straight for Maze. Oh, they're going to be having a little bit of a jog here, but that's okay. And what do we have here? Oh, that is just one engine job. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, she's not doing so hot. So we're going to have... Ambulance as well as Doctor responding here right away. But I mean, he's just doing first aid, so it's all good. Are you guys getting him? Now you have to jog even further. Thankfully, our cops are pretty good on foot. Better than him. He has to stop and rest whereas our officers will run after him all day every day and that is the end of that he's not going anywhere especially after a double dose of maize gonna be a long walk back though sucks for them Do you believe we have him in custody? Yes, we do. All right, bring him back then. So we got the fire extinguished. We have the doctor here. Probably smoke inhalation, if I would have to guess. Oh no, fourth degree burns. Um. Okay, in that case, I'm thinking. This unit here is going to get set up to block off the street and we'll have 
the helicopter. Take her into... We do. Okay. We do. That's not a good place for him to land, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, Marble needs some police too. Oh uh, yeah, with 4 degree burns, one but might as well not even bother. Uh, you guys can just do a quick attack, that's okay. We're not gonna mess around. 4th degree burns, like I said. That is... A call. That is a definite call for, um, oh, excuse me, um, for a helicopter. We're just gonna have them all getting ready so they can leave without delay, if need be. But uh, it's gonna be a lot faster and a lot more, um, or a lot less jarring for the patient if we get him into a helicopter for her as it were so i think our helicopter is arriving just now already yeah police has to come and establish the landing zone which they will do here, post haste. It's not ideal because it's relatively close to the... Um... No. To that light, f uh, to that street light here, but uh, since they are coming in from this way, it should be just enough for them to land, and it is. Excellent. So, yes. That looks good. That looks very good, in fact. Good enough for a screenshot. Imagine. So we're going to be rolling her from there to there, which uh, one could argue we could drive her over here with the ambulance, but I don't know if that actually works. So I'm not going to take chances. And since we have engines ready here, uh, actually, we're just going to call them in as ready. We are ready via radio, which means that he can respond to this. It looks like a garage fire. I'm hoping, anyway, that they send the unit from up here. 
No, they did not. Oh, and now it's getting more serious. Where is our friendly neighborhood? Ah, oh, there they are. All right. So they are taking the patient here. He's probably going to spool up right away. Mm, yeah, not until the patient is inside, I would hope. But as soon as the patient is inside, we're going to be on our way. Fourth degree burn. That is nasty and that also has unfortunately very little chance of survival usually. Alright. So our second unit is here. We definitely need water established. But I'm thinking two lines will be enough. I mean we do have a second uh, fire truck coming in right now. Oh, that was an engine, that was not a rescue engine. That's why they called one from all the way down there. But yeah, we have this fire kind of sort of taken off at this point. Get to it, my friend. Why you guys decided it's a good idea to show up without a CDA, I'm not quite certain, but alright. We'll just go with it for now. You're far enough away from it all and it's an outside fire, so I'm okay with it. I'll tolerate it. And and Get to it. Looks like the car is wrecked though. So definitely need police as well. And our helicopter just took off, which means all units on this scene then head on home. And there goes the helicopter looks like the car was just slightly was just slightly damaged but that's okay as well One more small fire, hey? Where's this? Hold on, here. Oh, I wonder if I can get... Hypertonic crisis. I wonder if I can get a unit here relatively quickly. One of the ones that's heading back right now. And what is going on here? That is... Definitely a call for a doctor. I uh, got some more police units. 
hanging out up here somewhere. And the hypertonic crisis is going to be what concludes our episode for today, which was a rather long episode. That's okay, though. We want to get him off the ground as fast as possible because that's always a consideration is a chance that people on top of whatever else they have they get hypothermia yep i knew we we're gonna need a doctor but at least we can slow his we can slow his decay <laughs> if you will. That sounds terrible. Or the decay of his health, I guess. It's a little bit more humane. <laughs> can take care of this like I said this is a burning skit here garbage skit so we're gonna get him into the ambulance as fast as possible my goodness look at the detail of this ambulance I mean it's not only this ambulance obviously but yeah, wow. Makes me very happy to see. Like even even the backup camera is there. Which was or which would have been something that I would have appreciated when I did when when I worked as a EMT. Um wait a second, that's a paramedic. The doctor is still hanging out here. I love it. And you guys are done. Excellent. Back to base. RTB. Uh, it's pretty likely that he will accompany. The patient into the hospital. In fact, I would be shocked. Keep on going, don't be standing there lollygagging. Oh, we are sitting at a red light. Never mind. All good then. All right. So, once we have him on the stretcher, we're going to be taking him to the hospital, which I'm assuming they're going to go cold. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. That is indeed exactly what I thought. And he's gonna be following the ambulance. As fast as possible. Yep, ambulance is up there. And with these pictures of the NEF 
chasing the ambulance back to uh, the hospital. I say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch those videos. And uh, until next time, Northern Alex signing off. God bless.